Okay, in this video we're going to look at using the sun uh, and taking renders of your screen. Um, so we've already set a sun up in this file, so you just need to go to your layers. You can right click in the grey area and turn the layers on. Pop up here. Just turn on the sun. And if you zoom out a bit you'll find this thing. Uh, what's fantastic about the um, sun in Max is that uh, you can have any sun in the world um, at any time of day. It's a it's a real daylight system. Um, it's made under the Create panel, under the systems at the end here, and there is a tutorial on the LMS um, which Dermot's put together, uh, which shows you how to actually create one of these. For this one, we'll just modify the one in the scene. So selecting the sun head, I can go to the modify panel and you'll see it's called a daylight and this is the assemblied head. I can go to the setup and I can get location. The location we've set is Melbourne, Australia. But as you can see, uh, you can set it for any continent in the world, which is pretty, pretty amazing. I can then set the um, any time of day or any hour that I want to take a render from. Um, so for this one I've set the hour to 9am and I've set the month to the first month which is January um, and day 15 so that's approximately in the middle of summer. Uh, what I want to do now is have a look at what that might look like in terms of shadows. So I'm going to go to the realistic view rather than the shaded view now. And then what I'll do is type C on the keyboard and I'll go to the, um, some cameras that we set up earlier and I'll go to the top camera and set that current. And that's starting to give um, the real shadows that would be in the middle of uh, summer, which is pretty fun. Now you'll notice when I'm in camera view, it pops up as camera ca the camera view up here. And I can't pan, uh, I can't use the wheel to pan or zoom. If I want to pan and zoom, I've got to right click up here and go back to perspective or orthographic. Orthographic's probably easier to look at. So right now, I'm going to take a render of 9am in the middle of January by just going to the render production. We've already preset renders. Um, that might take some time and then you just need to save them to an appropriate place. So I thought I'm going to go back here into Max and I'm going to make a folder called Renders. probably call this Sun Jan sorry yes Jan 15 Jan 15 9 a.m. So that'll take a little bit of time for that to do. And we won't bother sitting through that, but that'll be saved in that location now. What I can do then is um, the sun is still, while the sun's still selected, um, go back to the modifier list. Mm, if it's not still selected, then you just need to select by name. So you can go to this button up here. You can see there's the daylight. Okay. And the parameters will pop up again. 
set up and now I want to have the one o'clock in the afternoon of January 15th and I go through exactly the same process again I do a render production save that to somewhere logical um, and do it one more time for four o'clock in the afternoon so that's how you do your sun shadow diagrams.